This is Ethan Reeves, the founder of Ifrit Technologies and developer of Genie. In this quick video, we're going to be looking at a couple different tips and tricks, just additional little hints that didn't really fit into any of the other videos that can help you use Genie to its absolute greatest potential. First thing we're going to look at is help. If you're inside Genie and you're confused, you don't know what something is, you need to learn a little bit more about it, just click this button right up here and you'll get the built-in help documentation. For instance, if we come over to folders and collections and then click it, we get a help guide about folders and collections. If you come over to the browse window and click it, we get a help guide about browse. Very useful. The next quick tricks all involve the sidebar over here where we open our articles. So let me just get some articles open. Great. First thing is that you can search the sidebar. This is very useful if you have a ton of articles open and you need to find a specific one. Risk, there we have it, that specific one. Uh, let's go Iran, here's the article there about Iran. This is just quickly searching through the articles that are open. The next thing that we can do is we can close an article by clicking this X. This lets us just quickly close out a bunch of articles. Next thing for the sidebar is you can auto hide the sidebar. So you click that there and then the sidebar hides. To show the sidebar again, you'll need to move your cursor over the right hand and then it'll pop out. This is great if you have an extremely small screen or if you really like a more immersive reading environment. Click this icon again to pin the sidebar back open. Final thing that you can do in the sidebar is you can actually drag and drop to rearrange articles inside of the sidebar. Now, why might that be useful? One reason is that you can put, for instance, all of the articles that you plan on using right up there at the top so that it's easy to keep yourself organized during your preparation time. Okay, that's all the tips for the sidebar. The next thing is that Genie has a built-in timer. You can see it right up here. We can start the timer, pause the timer, and restart the timer. We can also change what specific time the timer is set to. You can use Genie for extemp, congress, and debate. So the fact that you can set the timer to different time increments lets you, for instance, manage your prep time or manage a eight minute speech in team policy debate. Or perhaps you're in an extemporaneous league that has 20 minutes of prep time rather than 30. This lets you do all of that. The final tip is kind of the, the trick that supersedes all of the rest, and that is keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts will drastically improve your efficiency while using Genie. And Genie has extensive keyboard shortcuts. To see the keyboard shortcuts, click the help icon and then click the keyboard shortcuts button. Here you can see a list of all of the different keyboard shortcuts that Genie has. Genie has a ton of keyboard shortcuts inside of it. There are ways to do basically everything inside of an article, jump between any of the major pages, use the article extractor better, use the article list better so you can open articles quickly, add them to collections, etc. You can do everything by keyboard shortcuts. All the keyboard shortcuts are based around the idea of Gmail hotkeys, it turns out. So basically what this means is instead of hitting control C, you would just hit A then C, or G then B to browse articles, or G then S to search the database. So for instance, if I'm over here and I hit G S, I jump right over to searching the database. Those are very great for hopping around inside of Genie. Okay, those are all the tips and tricks I have. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos.